Hi everyone, Mike from CCTV Camera Pros here. I'm doing some more testing with our Viewtron AI security cameras. I'm gonna point one of those cameras that you see behind me down towards this dumpster. That dumpster I just measured, that's 140 feet away from where these cameras are mounted uh, on this pole. And I'm gonna pretend that that's a problem area and after hours we have illegal dumping, actually a very common problem that we hear about from our customers. Normally I would mount the camera closer, but this is a good opportunity for me to test some more long distance uh, object detection. So I'm gonna set up an intrusion zone uh, around the dumpster and set it to uh, people detection. I might set it to car detection too. So anything that enters that zone after hours, let's say, whether it's a person or a car, that's gonna trigger an alarm, bookmark the event and snapshot on the NVR, and I'm gonna set it up to send me a push notification so I know when these events happen. Take a look, we'll set up the, the NVR first. Here's a live view on the NVR that that IP camera is connected to. Here's a full screen view of the camera that we're using. And this is a motorized zoom lens camera. So basically a verifocal camera, but instead of manual adjustments with rings, uh, you can use the PTZ controls on the NVR uh, to zoom in and out. And, and once you zoom in, you'll see in a second, it auto focuses. So it's, it's real convenient for installation. So this is the 12 millimeter setting. And the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, set up the detection zone. So I go into the settings of the NVR and then go into the AI event area. I'm gonna select that dumpster camera uh, that we're using and select uh, intrusion as the type of detection. And you have to enable this checkbox right here. Next, I'm gonna draw the intrusion zone uh, around the dumpster and I'm gonna go out a little ways because if cars are pulling up after hours, we wanna capture those cars out there too. So I basically make a, uh, not a square, but, but uh, a shape around the dumpster and I'm gonna set it to people detection and vehicle detection. Uh, actually, I'll just leave it people detection for now. Uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to take a snapshot image and send a push notification to the mobile app. Uh, that's in addition to recording. It's already set up to record uh, intrusion events. So I'm going to apply those settings and then close this screen and go back to the full screen live view of that camera. This icon right here enables the visual detection so that you can see the software detecting all the objects on the scene. I'm gonna skip forward just a little bit now and notice when the real-time object detection is turned on, you can see all the objects uh, that are detected on the scene. You could see that the uh, vehicles are outlined in purple and here I come out and you see that humans are outlined in yellow. And once I pass that intrusion zone, you could see the alarm was set off there and you could see the snapshot of the event. And again, it's still tracking me the whole time, but, but what triggered the event was me breaking that intrusion zone that's around the dumpster. If I wanna play back the recorded video of that event, I can just use the mouse connected to the NVR and hover over this thumbnail snapshot and press that play button. That'll open up the uh, playback screen and begin playing back the video at the point of that uh, intrusion. The Viewtron NVR also gives you a way to look up all the different object detection events that occurred. To do that, I go in here and select Intelligent Analytics. And on the Intelligent Analytics screen, you can select the date that you wanna look up and then the camera, or you could select multiple cameras, and then a specific event. In this case, I'm gonna choose intrusion detection. When I click search, uh, a picture uh, snapshot is displayed of all the intrusion detections that, uh, all the intrusion detection events that happened around that zone that I put around the dumpster. And I can switch from the, the snapshot to the entire uh, image of the scene. And then if I click on any of these snapshots, the video player in the lower left begins to play back the video. And now we're back to the live view of that camera. I hope that was useful in showing how to set up our Viewtron AI security cameras for people detection and uh, intrusion detection. Uh, that was our IP A4BZ. 
uh, camera. It's a 2.8 to 12 millimeter lens. And as you saw, it's motorized zoom autofocus. That dumpster was 140 feet away. And uh, you could see that the AI object detection had no problem uh, detecting objects at that distance. I'll go over in more detail in another video how to set up the uh, iPhone and Android app to get the push alerts. Uh, you can get a push notification based on intrusion detection like we just did. Uh, you could do a bunch of things once an event is detected like that. You, that, that. That alert can be sent to the central management software that's included with all of our Vuetron systems. Uh, we have the central monitoring station for Mac and for Windows. So if you have a security guard monitoring multiple locations and you want them to get alerts, uh, there's a whole bunch of integration that you could do with these systems. If you want to learn more about this and a bunch of the other stuff you could do with these systems, please visit www.cctvcamerapros.com slash AI. You could also email me if you have questions. I can be reached at mike at cctvcamerapros.net. Thank you for watching.